And y'all was basically taking and putting in Everybody this. Everybody got a church background. Yeah, yeah, yeah but y'all was quiet boys. Y'all was church. Y'all was All quiet boys. Songs dedicated to my homies. And, that and, then, uh -uh, and then y'all switched over into this gangsterism. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Question, man. <laughs> Dirty, rotten scoundrels. Like, who came up with that name, and what, do you think that was the right name after all these years? Yeah, because because at that time and point, remember there's a movie called Dirty, Rotten Scoundrels, and it was in, um, and the guy, his name is Chris, Chris Jackson. He's the one in prison right now. Chris came up with that name. He came up with it, DRS. And I, I thought it was, I think it was apt. I thought, because of... What we were portraying at the time, we weren't dirty. We were rotten. We were scoundrels. Yeah, but you, you guys were a group of men that was dressed up like NBA. I mean NWA, uh, and, and and NWA, and and then you you basically y'all uh, had a church background, and y'all was basically taking and putting in Everybody this. Everybody got a church background. Yeah, yeah but y'all was quiet boys. Y'all was y'all was All quiet them. boys. And then, uh -uh, and then y'all switched over into this gangsterism. Is this what Melvin told you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Melvin Farmer. A Trey Gangsta. Uh, explain that to me. So, you know, um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to kick Melvin's butt. <laughs> okay, so necessarily there wasn't church boys, choir boys. <laughs> I was in the choir. Melvin <laughs> is trying to tell you. My brother wasn't though. I was the one that was in. I was in the choir. Yes, EJ. Yeah, we were. But you have to realize at that time, everybody. You know, you either had affiliation, or you did something. You know, you, or your friends were either Crips or Bloods at the time, and that was just kind of like our society. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. So, um, like I tell, like I tell people, true gangsters ain't making records. I don't care what nobody say. And my buddies that do rec make records and they like, dude, you don't know what you're talking about? You lying. I don't care. And I'll tell you in the face. Because you don't think about making records and being um, being famous. True gangsters, like I said it last time on the show, true gangsters want to be in the streets, want to hustle, want to make their money, don't want to be known. Don't want, don't, don't want police to know who they are. They want to be undercover. They want, you know what I'm saying? They, that's why later on in life you find out, you know, Mr. Bob down the street, you know, that was the biggest dope dealer in the, in the country. Because he, he laid low. You know what I'm saying? He did his dealings, but he didn't he didn't go out there and make a record about it and say, yeah, I shot 20 people and I'm this bad and I'm doing this and that. You know? I feel bad for that kid. You, you hear about the kid that spray painted Nipsey Hussle's... Um, and got killed, yeah. And got killed. His mule. Clout chasing. On there. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a blood and started spray painting the thing and then then he's on... he's on this Now, this is what we were just talking about, Mr. Jamaica. He was... So he did it. I didn't Show. hear about it. So what he did was he went and he spray painted Nipsey Hussle's um, uh, the mural. mural. Stayed online and kept the phone, got in his car, and people actually watched him where he was at. They knew that they knew, oh, he's on this block. Oh, turn the corner, he's on this block. And they killed him. But he wasn't doing anything bad. He wasn't. He no. You can't he, mock, he, make a mock, he making a mockery he of that. Mockery. Oh, I thought you mean he. No, painted, no, no, he no. He spray painted over it. Over oh, his mirror. Oh, oh my god. He vandalized. No, he vandalized. Oh, I was wondering if oh, that's what you yeah, meant. I, I thought you meant he. Wow. Okay. But he did it, and he touted everybody on screen. Mm -hmm. You know how many fans Nipsey Hussle has? Yeah, yeah. You know how many people like like that are like you know that's 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 I'm oh, sorry that's my dog. And then to go and to, you know, record yourself riding around L.A. Yeah. And, yeah. like, we don't know. You put a target marks. on your back. He put a target on his back. And that's what I'm saying. You know, true gangsters wouldn't have done that. No. I don't really think they would. Clout chasing. Yeah, it was clout chasing. I, would, I don't wow. think he would have done that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.